YouTube. Uh, I went and I checked out that 77 Firebird. It was in nowhere near as good a condition as it appeared to be in the ad. Uh, the uh, For those of you familiar with Firebirds, uh, the hood has a hole in it and part of the engine sticks out and it's a rocker fucking... I don't know. It's part of the fucking intake. But either way, it had a fake one. So they had just glued something onto the hood to make it look like it had that. And the interior, they literally spray painted black over a tan interior, including the vinyl seats and the carpet. So it looked like shit. And you couldn't put your hand down without getting fucking uh, paint residue on your fucking hand. And on top of that thing, and on top of that, it didn't even run. And not only that, the original owner way back in the day had put in a 396 that the current owner took out to put in an original 305, but he put in the wrong 305. Uh, they were supposed to have a Chevy 305, and he put in some crappy Pontiac engine that's roughly the same cubic inch diameter. It, the car is shit. And I was so disappointed. It has a really great paint job, but the rest of the car, and it wouldn't even start. Although, I do feel fucking horrible, because I locked Buddy's keys in the fucking car. I wanted to fucking punch myself. I couldn't believe I did that to the poor bastard. This is his only set of keys. They were in the ignition, and I locked them in the car. I felt horrible. The other thing about this car, they had fucking put a push-button start. So you held the button down to start it, which is stupid, but okay, push start, that could be handy, except it didn't fucking work, you still had to fucking throttle the car, miss my turn, to fucking get it to, to turn over, which is like, what the fuck is the point of the button start if it's not a fucking turnkey car? You might as well just, oh, I, people are stupid, I tell you. But uh, definitely not getting that. Which leaves me with this 83 Trans Am I looked at, which has some red flags. But uh, I'm going to see if I can... Okay. I'm going to see if I can get the, uh, the owner to take it in for an inspection, and I'll pay for the inspection. And uh, see what if it what all it needs. He says that it'll take about three hundred dollars to get it safely on the road, and at the price, I'm willing to do that. And uh, it, it's a beater car, and it is a really nice paint job for a beater car. It's not like I'm thinking it's going to be a show car or anything. But it sounded good, felt good, had a reasonable amount of power for a shit box five liter. But I don't know. I'm gonna definitely call the guy when I get home, see if he'll take it in for an inspection on Monday, and uh, depending on, if it is only $300 to get a safety, I'm gonna fucking go and get it, and uh, that'll be my beater, because this thing, I cannot, I need to be able to hoon, if I can't hoon, what's the point of having a car, and I'm actually really surprised this hasn't died at all on my way here, not once, but, uh, yeah, this thing, it did have a weird noise, which, again, I'm a layman, so my prognosis isn't the most, it's definitely not something I can sell. But based on the, the kind of sound of the noise, and based on looking into the car, I'm thinking maybe the exhaust looks like it's loose, and I'm wondering if that might be causing some kind of a, it's kind of a very deep warble. Almost like a tick, but instead it sounds like a warble. So I'm wondering if maybe the exhaust being loose is causing that noise effect. If I sound like a complete fucking idiot, please tell me. Because uh, I'd much rather some of you like, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard, that's not what it is, than have me think that it is and it not be. But, uh, but yeah, I am going to see if he will take it in for an inspection, because as it is, I'm considering buying it. But right now, I would not go over a grant, and he wants 1400 
So I have no problem paying a thousand for what it is now, because it's worth more than that. But if you any more than that, I'd want some assurances. So if he does take it in, and it doesn't, get, it, ooh, wow, that's pretty. And it isn't going to cost a fortune to get it on the road. I, I will pay that extra four hundred bucks and give him the fourteen hundred without haggling, because he deserves it. Like the paint job alone is probably worth like four or five thousand dollars. <laughs> like uh, the it has a beautiful brand new paint job, like a really nice paint job. And if it had, a, and I'm not gonna lie, if there were a 350 in this car, I would, I would have bought it. I would have given him a credit card and just like hold on to that. And on Monday I'll get you cash. Like I wanted, I would, I would have taken it if it had had a 350. It did have little things. Uh, the headlights popped up. One wouldn't pop down. Uh, that I would probably not even bother to fix just because I'm lazy and cheap. Uh, the seat, one of the bolts was loose, so when you gunned it, it shot back. When you braked, it shot forwards, which is something I would have to fix, but I'd probably fix that on my own because it's just a bolt. Didn't have a radio. I just put in a. I honestly would just use a portable radio. I don't need a fucking uh, proper radio, which you know, it's cheap and lame. But I think that would, when I was mentioning it to my roommate, I was like, "There's no radio in it, and I'm not going to spend money to put a radio into it." She's like, "Well, why don't you just put in like a boombox?" And I was like, "Yeah, that would work. Just get a radio and stick it in there." And all I could think was like, that is so an 80s thing to do, to have a fucking boombox in the car rather than a fucking car radio or stereo. But I wrote down everything. Oh, it also, the biggest thing I think is it doesn't have any wiper blades. Like none at all. That is definitely something that I would not be able to go without, especially seeing as I will be driving this car in rain, in snow, in motherfucking tornadoes, I need wiper blades. That's like, there's no, no negotiating that one. And I, I found that so weird that there wouldn't be fucking wiper blades on it. And like anything, the whole wiper assembly is gone. So it'll definitely need that for inspection. But, uh, I don't know. I'll call him, and if he's not willing to take it in, I'll offer him a thousand bucks. And if he says no, well, oh well. But I do like the car. And, and the, I think the big thing is, I do, I really want a more of a muscle car. But the thing I need to remember right now is, as much as I want to get my fun car, my really expensive ten, twenty thousand dollar $20,000 Corvette, or... 450 horsepower Cutlass, as much as I want that, what I need mostly is a vehicle that I'm not going to mind driving in winter. I need my primary vehicle before I can get my summer vehicle. So I need something I'm not going to mind driving in winter, and I wouldn't mind driving this in winter. So it's the priority. Yes, it's not what I want, but it's the intelligent thing to get. And yeah, I'm using intelligent a little loosely there. I don't think you can convince many people that the car you need to get for your daily winter beater is a fucking, uh, fucking Trans Am. Seriously? Is there not? There's a fucking turn lane, you dick knob. But, uh, yeah, like, that's what I gotta remember. I'm not looking for my show car here. I'm looking for my beater. So, $1,000 for a Trans Am that meets all my criteria for a car. Rear wheel drive, V8 engine, enough power to spin the wheels, and it's got T-tops, which would be awesome in winter. I've always wanted a T-top car, but you can tell how excited I am. I want T-tops so bad. Oh man, that was the only thing I didn't like about my Camaro, is that it was the, too early in the year to have T-tops. They didn't put T-tops until like 75, I think, 76, 
76, they definitely had T-tops. Anyway, but yeah, I would love to have a T-top car. That would be fucking awesome. So, so yeah, um, where in the fuck was I? But yeah, so it has T-tops. I really like T-tops. That was like just got so excited I forgot what I was saying. Um, but yeah, so it's also a bright purple. Or not so much a bright purple. It's a purple car. It's it's Barney the fucking dinosaur purple. But uh, I'm definitely gonna. As soon as I get home, I'm going to call him, ask him if he's willing to take it to get inspected. And I, I would have asked him if he was willing to do that beforehand, but it honestly didn't occur to me until later. Because I was going to look at what I thought was going to be a better car. It's only right now that, like, that would be... My deal breaker is, it's got to be... Like, it's a deal breaker. No, 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 it's not. I don't know. God, I'm confused. Uh, it occurred to me afterwards that... All the issues that I'm worried about it having, if it's taken in and inspected, I'd be willing to pay a little extra money for that. To know whether or not, like, it's worth buying. This right here, to me, is such a stupid design. Like, fucking five lanes of traffic melding in two. But you might notice, it's raining. Got the windows down. Because, you know, fuck rain. Really hope I can make it across this bridge without the car dying. <laughs> That's a nice view. Coast Guard. I mean, I guess they don't allow pedestrians on this bridge, but I'm still surprised that they have all the supports built like ladders so that if somebody were to stop their car on the bridge, they could get out, climb up, and then, you know, die and sue. 